If you're thinking about going to watch the new movie, The Boys in the Boat, you might want to listen to my review before you go. So this movie takes place in Seattle, Washington uh, during the Depression era. Um, it's centered around a rowing team at the University of Washington. Um, and it's a ragtag bunch. It's a bunch of guys who grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. Um, unlike today, athletes back then didn't have an NIL. It's strictly you get a, they give you a part-time job, uh, help you pay your tuition, give you a room and board. And for these guys, that's all they really needed. George Clooney is the director of this movie. Uh, he's done other movies, The Leatherheads, The Monuments Men, and I think most recently is uh, The Tender Bar. Um, don't worry if you haven't watched those movies. <laughs> I haven't either, to be honest. Um, and it's this is a really nice film. Uh, it didn't blow me away, but it was actually it was good. And I'll get and I'll give you my critiques about it. Um, but uh, this is they uh, you know there's in a lot of these movies there's an element of why this team doesn't fit in. And, you know, as I was watching the movie, I couldn't help but think of movies like, uh, you know, one of my, uh, I think it's a good movie from the nineties, cool runnings about the Jamaican bobsled team. Uh, it also had a vibe of like a league of their own in a sense. Um, and you know, uh, you see it in the, in the trailer. It's like, Oh, everybody gets tired, but we get stronger. Uh, I kind of had a, like, I don't know, a sea biscuit vibe in that sense. Like you're, you're rooting for the smaller underdog that shouldn't be there, but they are. Um, and, uh, like those movies, again, this was really well made, um, but it didn't have that, like that melding point of like, when did these individuals really become a team? When did they become one? Um, you know, you see that, like, in remember the Titans, they go off to camp and like everybody, they hated each other getting on the bus to go to the, the football camp. And when they came back, they were family. They were one, they were pushing together. They drove a community towards, uh, progress. And, uh, I didn't feel that in this movie and that there's hints of it here and a hint of it there, but the movie's called the boys in the boat. I was thinking I wanted it to have, I wanted it to be fun. I wanted it to have uh, those varsity blues moments, right? It was just the, the guys is out there uh, wilding out a little bit. It didn't have that. I wish they would have had more nuance amongst the characters. Cause honestly it's the boys in the boat, but you only really care uh, about there's, there's uh, what they call like the jockey, the guy who's like kind of directing and yelling the commands at him. And then there's uh, eight rowers. And I think you added the, those nine guys in the boat. We only really learned about four of them. So it's like some of the boys in the boat, I think, would be a better title. Um, yeah, but they just didn't have uh, like a big dynamic, a big moment of them like coming together. And maybe, maybe that's cliche at this point. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But I, I, I was wanting that. I wanted something to see these guys like. What, what, what made them so special? Like, like I think they could have played on that a little bit more. Um, and it just didn't have that. Uh, the main character that they follow um, is the actor Kellum Turner. Uh, it kind of reminded me of like a young Paul Newman, the way he looked. Uh, he plays this very stoic, quiet, um, quiet, quiet guy, just kind of keeps his own hardworking uh, guy who had to cut out, uh, you know, start his own path of really young and, um, He's the main person that the, the story follows. And, uh, you know, I think he did a good job. Uh, but again, I just, uh, not to say that this movie doesn't play on the emotional strings. It definitely pulls on them. There's a moment or two where I felt myself get a little choked up. But uh, it just didn't, it didn't clean it up on those notes. And I think that's the thing. Like you, I think typically when you get to that emotional peak, it's at like a pinnacle of the movie. And this was just like, just kind of mixed in, in the middle. And, um, uh, I didn't that's what I didn't really love about it. Again, I think this is a good movie. I really do. Um, as far as my score out of it, I'm gonna give it like a solid seven and a half out of ten. And for me, my score is five is average. If I give you a score of five, nah, take it or leave it. Seven and above, I think it's worth checking out in theaters, and like eight and a half and above, I'm like go see it. Uh, but this is solid seven and a half. I think if you're looking for a nice uh family friendly movie during the holidays, give this Take the family to this. I think you'll enjoy it, but I think you'll agree with me. Be like, you know what? Remember the Titans? That was just, that was more fun. That was a better movie. It, it brought in these other elements. You saw the team become a team. And uh, this didn't have it. And may, maybe it's just, I'm a bit disconnected from like the rowing, uh, the rowing universe. Uh, I will pit my, my, uh, 
<laughs> the, my, my best time that I got on my rower, uh, I did 30 minutes. I think it's like 6.3 K meters, uh, which is kind of funny because as in the movie at one point, they're like, he's like, you know what you get when you get 34 strokes a minute? Like, that's nothing. That's, that's, that's not, that's not going to win any, that's not going to win you any games, any competitions. And in my head, I'm, I was thinking like, I think I do 34. I want to say that's my number. Uh, turns out it's 27. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, way off. Um, but yeah, good movie. Um, I think this could open up a door for what maybe we see George Clooney build upon uh, in later movies. Um, uh, we'll see what other movies come out. You know, I'm going to check out Wonka later in the week. And uh, so maybe, maybe I'll, I'll get a stronger recommendation for me. You'll have to tune in for that video to check it out. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know, uh, what you thought if you were able to go out to the movie mystery Monday, uh, I know AMC and Regal theaters. Sometimes they offer a movie on Monday. You have to buy the ticket without knowing what the movie is. Uh, but since I do their, uh, monthly subscription club, it doesn't cost me anything to go, uh, anything additional, I should say than my $19 a month. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it's worth checking out. Is it the best movie? in the theaters right now no uh you gotta go check out godzilla minus one um i'd be i really want them i i would think it'd be good if they came up with the you know uh a follow-up to that i'm more excited about the potential of a follow-up to that than i am about that new godzilla kong trailer <laughs> i don't know kind of seems like they the fact that they gave him a metal glove in it um not really loving that um and uh yeah, and the salt burn, salt burn. God, that movie, I, I can't get over it. It's so freaking weird and different in a good way. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know what else like to compare it to. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it, if you watched it, t if you've seen it, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. But I just watched it, walked out to that, and I was like, oh man, that was awkward, but good. Uh, but yeah, I think those two movies go see those before you uh, potentially see this one. But again, this is a good family movie. Um, and uh, good not great i think a small some small tweaks in there could have could have played up uh that that team dynamic um but uh yeah that's what i got for you guys if there's a movie you'd like me to check out drop it in the comments and i'll do my best until next time guys take it easy